Hello, I'm Chris Parkin. I'm here today with the Hawk Endurance 30 Wide Angle Rifle Scope. This is a one to four power scope with a 24 millimeter objective lens and it's got the tactical dot reticle in it. The tactical dot reticle offers more aiming solutions and this is a real mid-market scope for great performance at an economical price. The 24 millimeter objective lens gives a good balance between field of view and a compact rifle scope and at one times magnification you're still getting a 33.3 meter wide field of view 100 meters away. That's great for picking up moving game through dense woodland. These turrets are patented by Hawk and they're adjustable and you can lift to turn with a locking facility, but you can change them around between eighth minute of angle, quarter minute of angle, or in this case, 0.1 milli radian, which is 10 centimeters at 100 meter click. The illuminated tactical dot reticle is controlled on the left side and it has intermediate off positions between the one to six intensity. The 30 millimeter monotube contains all the optical systems which have got 18 layers of multi-coating on them for the best performance possible in medium low light situations. The magnification control collar here at the front of the ocular body now has rubberized segments on it to make it easier to grip. It turns extremely smoothly from one through to four times, four times being ideal for when you've got to take shots on with more precision at longer position gain. The rubberized collar on the zoom ring makes it so much more easy to quickly access the magnification range, whether you're wearing gloves or you've just got bare fingers. If you're in cold conditions, being able to grip that and change it quickly is absolutely critical. You have often got time to wind magnification up and you've never got time to wind magnification down. So on fast paced game moving environments, I always leave mine on one times. Fast focus is available here at the eyepiece. This means you can get a nice crisp reticle picture and it doesn't vary with magnification and it doesn't vary with your position exactly in the eye box. This scope offers four inches or 100 millimeters of eye relief. So it's ideal for magnum calibers that are giving you a lot of recoil. The 30 millimeter main tube has been burnished beautifully so you get a nice smooth hard anodized coating in black. This means that when you splash it with blood or anything like that, water, debris, mud, anything, it rubs off easily and these low profile turrets won't snag on branches when you're carrying the rifle around. The tube's also waterproof, shockproof and a nitrogen purge so you don't get problems with condensation or misting as temperature changes. It's rated for all calibers, so you're not going to have any problems shooting it on a 306, 300 wind mag, or even a 338. The glass etched reticle is in the second focal plane, so it maintains consistent size throughout the magnification range. This does mean that the milliradian spacings on it need to be adopted and familiarized with at one magnification for the longer shots when you're going to use them for precise aim offs. The scope is 282 millimeters long and 518 grams in weight. It's perfect to add to your favorite wild boar rifle and there's plentiful space either side of the saddle to mount the rings suitable for the spacing of the action bridges on your rifle. As well as the 100 millimeter eye relief, you've got a massive exit pupil on it. It's 24 millimeters in diameter at one times, shedding down to six millimeters up at four times magnification. The joy of that is at one pound magnification, you're so accessible to mount the rifle and shoot intuitively with both eyes open. And even if your shooting position isn't perfect, your head position might not be perfect. The exit pupil is large, the eye box is spacious. You're not gonna find yourself with vignettes circling the reticle. When wound up to four times magnification, the hash marks on the lower side of the reticle, the six o'clock arm, go down 10 mils to give you AMOS for longer distance shots. Although the tactical dot reticle might not sound suited to wild boar, actually I find it is. Because the reticle itself is larger, you can run it more dimly without it interfering with your sight picture. Having that precise center aim point still always allows you to put the bullet placement perfectly in position, but the larger peripheral to it makes it easier to glide into position and, and picture the bore or, or deer that you're actually trying to frame the bullet placement within. I think you can see that the Endurance 30 has shown quite a lot of features and functionality. I think it's a very, very nice scope and it's very easy to tell from the way that the controls work. Everything is very seamless. The manufacturing standards are beautiful and I'm very impressed with the overall quality 